comap present basic mode bus in comap controls part 2 I would like to show you how to read state of control binary input Modbus registers list contains this information about control binary input. Column registers gives you information about register address. Column LEN length contains information about length of data. 2 means that data length is 2 bytes. It is one Modbus register. I am going to read the first byte only because I am interested in state of the first 8 binary inputs. You can see them here. I need to read register with register number 40003. Register address is 2. Command for binary inputs reading consists of these parts. Control address. Modbus function number. Register address, number of registers, and cyclical redundancy check. It's done by a Moodbus terminal. Complete request is. Let's read state of the first eight binary inputs from the ISNT control now. This is IntelliMonitor and I am going to read control binary input values which you can see here. This is Modbus terminal window and I am about to, to send binary inputs reading request. Let's insert control address first. Modbus registers reading function. Register address. And number of registers I would like to read. OK, here you can see the binary inputs register content. It is D9 in the hexadecimal system. Let's convert it into a binary string. This bit gives you information about state of the first input and this bit gives you information about the input number 8. GCB feedback is the first bit and warning 8 is the last bit from the register. Set point setting using Modbus. It is possible to change set point setting using Modbus. Set point change consists of these steps in case of password protected set point. User selection, selected user password setting, and set point change. It is necessary to insert password first before changing setting of a set point which is password protected. I am going to change setting of the emergency star delay set point which has access group set to 7. It means that only user with access to this group can edit the set point. There is no need to insert password via Modbus only if a set point has its access group set to 0. All set points on the picture can be set without password except the emergency star delay set point. I am going to insert password for user 7 called Modbus in this case, because this user has access right to edit the emergency star delay set point. Other users who can edit the set point are users U0 and U6. Command for user 7, Modbus, selection consists of these parts. Control address, Modbus function number, register address, user selection, and cyclical redundancy check. It's done automatically by your Modbus terminal. Complete request is.
command for selected user password setting consists of these parts. Control address, Modbus function number, register address, password setting, cyclical redundancy check, and complete request days. Modbus registers list contains this information about the emergency start delay set point. Column registers gives you information about register address. Column LEN length contains information about length of data. Two means that data length is two bytes. It is one Modbus register. I need to write to register number 43114. It means that the register address is 3113. Command for emergency start delay setpoint setting to 20 seconds consists of these parts. Control address, Modbus function number, register address, New set point setting and cyclical redundancy check, which is done automatically by your Modbus terminal. And the complete request is I am in Intel Monitor again, and now I am going to select user 7 first. the password 100 for this user and I can change emergency start delay set point setting to 20 seconds. Ok, it is done. Be aware that it is necessary to insert password for a selected user within 2 seconds after user selection. That is why I have not entered commands manually this time. Please be aware that set points are stored in memory which can be rewritten 10,000 times. It means that set point setting using Modbus cannot be done periodically. It is intended for occasional set point changes only. However, you can use external value feature in ISMT for frequent control setting changes. For instance, genset baseload or power factor can be frequently changed using the external value. There is other option too. Force value in combination with remote control binary output function can be used for setpoint setting changes too. Thank you for watching this video.